Right, Golf Shop Onliners, let's talk spikes or spikeless. So you'll see this Adidas shoe here has obviously the dimple pattern, but it's got cleats as well. It's actually got physical spikes in where this Adidas golf shoe is purely just a dimple pattern. It has to be said, that's a cool looking golf shoe as well. <laughs> that's just, I just picked that one out for this, but I'm loving the look of that. So during the winter when it's wet, muddy, bit slippery, which one's gonna perform better? For me personally, I would go for one with cleats during the winter when it does get that little bit more slippy certainly here in the UK. You can play with this and on your drier days it will still work. The traction on this is good but it won't be quite as good as the old cleats. This one only has four cleats on. I've you know you get some shoes with more. I personally would want more cleats than that on my winter shoe. I'm sure Adidas will tell me that's got enough traction. Personally, I just would like two more up the front here. It does give you that little bit more stability, but that wouldn't stop me if I turned up just with that shoe from playing, I, I would still play in it. Personally, I think you're better off with a shoe with cleats for the winter and a cleat less for a bit more if you choose to play in the winter and weather kind of, you know, when, when it's medium dry to drier. So personally, I would have both pairs for different times of the year. Definitely would have that pair. This video isn't about that pair. What do you think? I do love that pair of shoes. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, cleats or cleatless during the winter, what would you wear and why? I'm definitely edging more towards the cleats when it gets a bit wet.